Hello internet people, my name is Robert and in this quick video I'll show you how to submit a URL to Google by using a free indexing tool in Google Search Console. This video will be over quicker than this guy's career. Give you a lift. No, no, no. And it's over. Tip sweat punch. So to start with this, head to Google Search Console. Uh, you can find the direct link in the description of this video and you will land on this page. Hey, if you haven't connected your Google Search Console to your website yet, then check out the video card here, somewhere on top. In that video, I'll show you how to verify your website with Google so you can start using Search Console. If you have set up Google Search Console, then click on the URL inspection tab. Or just click into the search bar here on top. This is the same thing, basically. This is where you can submit your new page URL to Google or you can also request re-indexing of your existing page. Here, you will also find any warnings from Google specific to this page. So let's take a look at the page that Google hasn't indexed yet. Just enter the full URL of your page, including the HTTPS. I already have it here because I entered it once uh, when I was testing this. So I'm going to select this one, but you just copy it from your site and then paste it into this search field. Okay. You will see a page like this one. Basically, it will just state that URL is not on Google and the whole page is full of unknowns and not applicable values. If you want Google to index this URL, make sure you click on the request indexing. Google will test if it can index the page. This might take some minutes. But once it's done, you will see an indexing requested message. So this doesn't mean it's been added to the index, just that Google will check it later when it gets to it. This usually takes less than 24 hours, but new websites might take longer. Once your page is indexed with Google, you will see a page like this, where it provides more information that everything is working correctly on your page. So for example, I don't have this page in the sitemap, so Google mentions that. Cool. Hey, if you like this video so far, consider hitting the like button. That would help me a lot with the YouTube algorithm. Next, this is how the page would look like for an existing URL. If everything is in order, then you'll just have green check marks all over the page. But if you have a page with an error, you will see some extra information about that error. When you click on the error, you will see more details about it. For example, in my case, I have an AMP image issue. Another useful functionality is to resubmit the URL. Use this when you've made major updates to a page and you want Google to crawl your page faster. You can do this by just clicking on the request indexing link. Since you've just submitted your URL to Google, you should also learn all the useful features that Search Console has to offer. You can learn more about that in this video right here. And once you start writing your next article, make sure you have ticked all the requirements for good on-page SEO. To learn more about that, check out the video right here. Oosh!